Okay, we're back. Um, off screen, we uh, went ahead and grabbed Eris's ultimate weapon, mm -hmm. which you get at the end of disc one for yep. for circumstances that we will see shortly. Probably not this episode, maybe the next one. Um, and we went ahead and grabbed a weapon for Kate Sith since he's going to be in our final party. Yep. Uh, fun facts. Eris's, sorry, stab wounds ultimate weapon is the only ultimate weapon that doesn't, that actually has material growth on it. All the other ultimate weapons have a special ability, which hers does, but they have no material growth. Your material won't level if you equip them. Just fun stuff. This is a puzzle where I have to, all these doors are interlinked and lead to each other, and we have to, it's like a memory game. We have to remember which door leads to what. Alright. So we're probably going to show you about a minute of him fucking yeah, it up, is, and yeah. we'll pause it and come back to our to when we win. So he goes in there. What's, what's tricky is each door has two entrances. There's a left and a right path. So that the right one from door, that door led to that door, and I need to find out what that one leads to. And what's in that chest? Yep, work glove. That's a Tifo weapon. Sorry, a Titty's weapon. <laughs> he's all right, he's all right. He went to... Oh, he jumped. You can jump down? Can I jump down? Nope. Yes. Yep. So he went through... Didn't, didn't that lead to there? No. I don't remember. Yep, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I really have nothing to tell you people right now. Alright, so we're gonna go <laughs> and pause, and we will come back when he's figured this shit out. Alright, we did it. We're back. <laughs> and it is time to go through the door. I don't know why going through doors unlocks doors. <laughs> <laughs> Inception Temple. Uh, All right. Uh, this is where the room with the pictures where we're going to learn what Meteor is. Yep. Sephiroth is here, and he's going to explain to us his plan. Yes, he is. Yep. We move through the room and talk to him. He's reading hieroglyphics. There we see Meteor, which is, going, which is a dark magic. That can destroy everything. Yep. Sephiroth reveals his plan by swinging this sword dangerously close to our faces. He is going to use Meteor to cause an injury to the planet, which will cause the life stream to force energy to the injury to heal the planet, but he will be in the way and intercept the energy and thus become immortal. And at the same time, he will wipe out all, li all life as <laughs> revenge. He's doing this weird possession of Dick Butt right now, which is a result of Dick Butt's uncertainty of who he am. I'm Dick Butt, but he doesn't believe it. We're gonna learn more about that at the Northern Cave. <laughs> <laughs> he's never Angle gonna sex. get. He's never Angle gonna get. Sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so okay, now it's dragon. a boss fight. Oh god, we're gonna die. Oh, we're gonna die. So no, far. we're fine. We're fine. We got it. Um, so this is one of the Shit. harder boss fights mm -hmm. for disc one. Um, he hurts. Yep. You kind of just got to hammer him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I hammered your mom. All right. Uh, there it is. Uh, oh, man. All right. We're going to force some limit breaks out here. We just learned what Meteor is. It's one of the major plot points of Final Fantasy. Meteor magic has been in Final Fantasy games as far Forever. as I know. It was pretty cool that they used it as a uh, something more than that, like something as a more story-driven, destructive magic rather than just a spell you get. Yeah, you don't actually ever learn meteor in this game, do you? Nope. Didn't or think. holy. For other reasons. Yep. I imagine ice too. Ice will hurt him. Uh, Seems like a fair. Oh, we can summon. Did I give her? Oh, I gave her Ramu and Odin. Holy shit. That just tickles. Ifrit, Ifrit's probably not a good idea. I was trying to, if Ifrit will probably heal him. You probably I love should. how neither of us just know how to say these things. Like, I, I think it's Ifrit. Is it Ifrit? I, I right. believe it's Ifrit. That's probably, that with, a, with a silent T. That's, yeah, Ifrit. 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 To Seafrit. To, to, to Frit. Titties. There we go. <laughs> Found it out. Sound it out slowly. You'll get it. I used to should hurt him because he's a dragon. And he has wings, so he's dragon flying. <laughs> Yeah. It should be four times super is what, effective. Is that what that is? <laughs> Why does he have life? Odin's a pretty cool looking summon in this one. Yeah, as cool as uh, summons can look in 
Lego graphics. Yep. <laughs> I would buy Lego model sets of Final Fantasy things and build them. Like this, yeah. the whole parting the clouds is really neat. I I personally like the high amount of damage. I think that's my yeah, favorite part. It's, again, it's one you're supposed to get later when you can actually beat lost number. Yeah, but we are we're better at video games than the, the average bear. <laughs> We are better at video games than the designers of Final Fantasy VII. I'm gonna see how much damage does normally. I'm probably better at writing. <laughs> hey yo! Yeah, he only went time. Ooh. Uh, that la that felt like it lasted uh, longer than the other ones. I can hear the CD-ROM drive like trying really hard to play this game. I think it's tired of it too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not that tired of the game. I know, I'm, I'm not either. I, I, I do... I need to make this statement. I do like this game, okay? I don't like it that much. I like it. I enjoy the experience of sitting down and playing a game with a friend. Yeah, which, which is, I, I enjoy that too, but I, I, I do like Final Fantasy VII. I enjoy watching a giant shit pile with an old <laughs> man standing on top of it. You shall not shit! <laughs> That's that. Just fries it. Oh, look at that. Wow. We did it. I, I think remember. I think that's a regular enemy later. Yeah, it is. A red dragon. <laughs> yeah, he's the weakest of the dragons. Is he really? I think so. Huh. Aren't blue dragons like your... I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm trying to remember my Final Fantasy lore. I couldn't tell you. I'm more familiar with the later game, with the game later games in the series than I am with well, the earlier ones where they actually had more like that. Yeah. That was Neo Bahamut, which we're gonna replace Ramu with. That was regular Bahamut. Sorry, we get Neo Bahamut later. And then Undead Bahamut. Undead Bahamut, yes. He's Zombie Hamut. We're locked in. Oh, that's right. I didn't get the. Me. <laughs> what we're gonna learn here is that there is a. You can speed it up. Oh, There's sweet. a preventive measure set on this magic. The, if you take it, you die, right? Yes. The, what happens is you solve a series of puzzles to unlock the black materia, and as you do it, the temple becomes smaller and smaller and turns into the black materia. As a result, you get crushed and you die. So we decide that we can't do it, because if we just leave it alone, Sephiroth will just possess someone and make them do it. Slow this down, because this is... This is so sad. No, we don't get it yet. Speed it up. Sorry, we have to fight the boss first. Oh, yeah. Fucking... Oh, this boss sucks. Yeah. So... I'm gonna do you a favor. <laughs> Talk <laughs> like a man. Oh, there's random battles. Oh, that good. That became less funny. <laughs> I might die. You're fine. Okay, there we go. I would actually... Ooh. Ooh. Gone. <laughs> I would heal. Yep. Immediately. I was looking for the dude outside. I'm pretty sure he will... I would heal an ether, to be honest, because uh -huh. if I remember correctly, this boss is a bastard. Pain in the ass. I think I can heal, restore everything outside with that dude. Ah, uh, okay, but... You've thought wrong before. No, I, I mean, if he's not, I know where the boss shows up, so if the guy's not immediately outside. Do you want to just run from this? Yep. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, there's a dude. Rest, save, to mm, save. Whoop. Again, not sure why the frame skip makes this go faster, but it, well, it does. Sure does. It really shouldn't. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the plan that we discussed is that Kate Sith is going to use his fake body to take the materia so we can just go. Yeah, because Kate Sith is a robot. Mm -hmm. Why not Zoidberg? <laughs> this is this is some scary shit. Remember the scary guy in Cave of the Gee? Yeah. Oh, guess what? <laughs> this is the classic. What's behind me? Dick butt <laughs> behind you. <laughs> <laughs> this guy sucks so much. Yeah, it's not a fun fight. I feel He's like you should... It's like... Did you ever play Silent Hill 2? Nope. You should've. It's a good game. The Bahamut summon looks cool. Mm -hmm. All the Bahamuts look really good in this game. All the Bahamuts look really good. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Did you get far enough in 13 to get Bahamut? I don't think I did. He's a fighter jet. <laughs> Bill's getting up and leaving, ladies and gentlemen. Can't do he it. is out the door. <laughs> oh, man, I gotta, 
Listen, without me, without me here, who would choose what Shiva attacks? <laughs> without you here, who would play this game? Right. Not you. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and talk about it forever. <laughs> Um, this battle music's terrific. <laughs> he also, Bahamut is also one of the best summons in every game. Yeah. He does so much damage. Mm -hmm. But seriously, in 13, it's Fangs. It's Fangs Idolin. Oh, and is it? Okay. She, like, when he summons him, she's, like, riding on top of it. Like, he's a jet. It looks cool. Maybe, uh, I like how the, the guy's in in him right now. <laughs> like, yeah. On the side well, of it. That didn't do much. That only did, like, 100 damage. He's probably resilient to fire. Yeah, that seems to be the case. He looks undead, like, the fucking Phoenix Down trick should work. Yeah. I, I wish that worked on every boss, just like... Just oh! Just drop a Phoenix Down on it. Oh, we're gonna have some more... Oh, Slash Fiction, here goes. Oh, God. Oh, God, he is... This is the closest he has been to second base... He's motorboating. ...in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's... Older Summon's not doing it this time. Oh, Fucking Sid just probably doesn't have a lot of MP or magic power when it comes to attacking. I mean, this should do well. This is the this is what makes these battles so long. Just doing all your summons at the beginning. Yeah, I wish that Sid had like a finisher where he just put his cigarette out in the eye of the enemy. Yeah, that'd be really cool. That's probably well beyond the technical limitations, but there's one where he just throws fucking dynamite at him. Yeah. <laughs> just like... Oh shit, that didn't do much either. It's a lot more than Jeez, the other. He's like my spellcaster here. He seems to have a, uh, he seems to be pretty, um, pretty uh, weak to physical damage. So you might just want to, like, power up your limits yeah. and just let it happen. I hate this, like, pause that some bosses mm -hmm. have. I guess, like, I think that's, like, the closer he is to you, he does something. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna be doing physical damage here. She's not. Oh! 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 Oh no. <laughs> I mean, what she's gonna be doing is she's gonna be playing the role of your healer. Yep. As if she damn well if should. If she fucking lives, <laughs> she'll be fine. Maybe See, I healing wind. If Seal Evil even works. Seal Evil might work. That Maybe. thing looks pretty evil. I'm sure we'll find out in a few minutes here. We need to get Big Guard up right now. I want it to refresh theirs too. That should do it. Ooh. That looks promising. I like where this is going. He's dead, isn't he? No, he's up. Okay. Fuck. This is like this fight just becomes sitting around. And, and like countering his attacks and not yeah. being able to do anything for yourself. That's why it sucks. Like that's mm -hmm. that's one of the problems with RPGs is like the fights where you constantly just have to heal and then hopefully like he'll miss or something. Yeah. And it's like you want to try seal evil, but you know that as soon as you get your limit, you're gonna need a healing wind. Mm -hmm. Preventative measures. Oh, that's not a bad idea at all. You know, you know, thinking about it, um, just seeing like that the way when you hit him with your sword, there was fire. You know what I really like about eight? What's that? The way you can hit the trigger mm -hmm. to get more damage. Yeah. Like it felt really Super Mario RPG. Yeah, yeah. Super Mario RPG did that. That was like I I would do that in this game because I played Super Mario RPG yeah. first. I I, will, I, I do it so in every RPG I play. Yeah, it's just where it's I'll really hit the attack button again. And fun. Okay, I, I don't know uh, why it's not in every RPG. I don't know. I like off-screen. that was good. Uh, we're gonna need to... Yup. You could've tried Seal Evil. You would've been fine. I'm too scared. Like, he, look at how... Look at how high your HP is. If he gets one of those stone drops down, it hurts them so much. And I don't have a barrier up right <laughs> Fair. now. Fair. See if her summon. Can she... Yeah, she I, can... I, I can choke him off. That that's probably worth it. I think it's a physical attack. Yeah, I'm, I think it does count as physical. This should do a pretty good chunk. I'm expecting at least a thousand. Yep. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you were correct, sir. He's on MP2, but oh, he needs MP because he's my big guard caster. Where were? 
worth it too. Sorry. Up, wow. Seven, whole 79 damage. That was. Didn't do it. I wish it would have stopped. Uh, what did we decide that? Okay. Uh, we need man on Sid for yep. big guard. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, hey, oh, missed it. You know, you might want to switch big guard to cloud. Why is that? Cloud has 204 MP, and Sid does a lot more melee damage than Cloud. Yeah, I'll give Sid the long range materia and basically just switch their rules. Yeah, look at how much more damage Sid does. That needs to happen right now. If he doesn't, he's dead. That's brutal. No, he's still alive. Oh, no, he's not. Brutal. So now you need to get a Phoenix down off quick so you can big guard. Nope, he's casting it. Oh, that sucks. Did I miss it? That came at a good time. Ugh. It hurts me. If he survives, which he won't. Nope. Oh, God. Just barely killed him, too. Wow. At least he used... Oh, he didn't even use it on himself. No, but... Jesus, like seriously. Nigger. This is retarded. This is. Oh, this sucks. He's just too fast. Like, I can't do anything about what he's doing. Well, that's okay. She can take a couple of those. Oh, no, Big Guard's finna wear off. Mm -hmm. He should have probably brought Sid up instead. Like, what am I, what am I supposed to fucking do right now? He's Pray. just gonna kill Sid, like... <laughs> yep, well, we've backed ourselves into a corner. Good. Good. Yay! Alright, so it's video pause time. Yay. We'll come back when this guy's dead. Alright, so that boss is dead. Did it! Uh, we made a slight... We went ahead and made that slight change, making, uh... Uh, Dick butt the um the, the big garter. Yep. And uh, <laughs> let Sid do his thing There's a little bit more. There's gotta be some innuendo there. <laughs> Dick butts the big garter. This so, is the saddest thing in the game. Saddest death. This is the worst moment. This is when the most memorable, lovable character of Final Fantasy VII passes away. And, and we aren't being sarcastic. It really makes me mad, though, because there's people that just make fun of this scene so much and just make a lot of internet jokes about it and related to, like, Harry Potter Snape kills Dumbledore and stuff, but it's it's not fine. Like, it's not okay. This is the most serious death in the game, and if you make fun of something like that, you're wrong. I'm sorry. Like, you're a fucking monster if you can look at this scene and think it's a joke. Poor titties! <laughs> now that's comedy! <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, Dick Butt Star matches stab wounds. Uh, Kate Sith has predicted their fortune one last time before he before he passes away, and that's just what makes him such a great character. You know, he's gonna pass away and he does something for others. One more Listen, time. he's a robot. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> this is sad. I, I agree with you that it's sad <laughs> because I do like him a lot. Tell him to be strong. Makes me feel so happy. This is actually some good dialogue with him too. He's very thinking about himself. Oh, this takes forever for him to fucking stand up. Who does it? Like, what is the cat doing? <laughs> God. You've gone, you've become drunk with power, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> so, dances. I was reading about Kate Sith on Wikipedia earlier, and it said he has a Scottish accent. Yeah. I'm assuming that's Advent Children. Yeah, it is. And probably the Dirt of Cerberus game, too. So how bad is that? I never played it. No, I mean the, the Scottish accent. It's just... I assume you've seen Advent. Um, Kate Sith has the has the Scottish accent. Reeve doesn't. That's just something that comes out of Kate Sith. And this is just really cool because, like, he's a very goofy character, but this is actually, like, a very good description of what Reeve is as well. Because we talked of him. He was always a corporate lackey just doing what he was told. But now he realizes... I can protect the planet too. There's plenty of stuffed toys, but there's only one me. There's like a lot of growth from Reeve from this. And it's, it's just, it's it's good. It's it's well done. <laughs> like, people don't give it, people really don't give it enough credit, in my no, opinion. Like, that was a very good design idea when it came down to it. And now we see the temple form of Black Materia 
crushing Kate Sith and utterly destroying him. I like how I like how we've been discussing how he's gonna be in our final party though. <laughs> what are you talking about? Shut up, James. <laughs> And there's the black material. I'm gonna have a smoke out here. That's great. What a! It's really something happening. You know, I really, I really hate, I really hate to do it, but I have to point out how much of a cop out it is. Every other character says that they're gonna watch and guard in case someone comes and tries to get it, but Sid's just like, I'm a smoke. <laughs> yeah. I think that's awesome. No, I mean it's a cop out for like, you know, if we get this, one of us has to die. Oh yeah. Oh, it's through the robot. That's okay. It is. It really lessens the effect that the the black materia having to kill someone has. Although it might enhance the effect of Eris dying. <laughs> that actually might be a decent plot point. Maybe. Okay, <laughs> Sephiroth has found us. Future is not yours, and he begins to fuck with with a uh, dick butt. <laughs> Cladic butt. And there's little. I'm little dick butt running around right <laughs> now. No! There, dick butt. Good boy. Don't be afraid. No! Don't be afraid. No! Don't be afraid. No! Don't be afraid. No! Don't be afraid. You're wow. done. Stop it. Your voice acting leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm an actor. Yeah, what, what we have is inner dick butt. A younger self trying to stop him, but Dick Butt. While he runs know. in place toward yeah. Sephiroth. I guess Dick Butt, whose, whose sword is through his head right now, gave black materia to Sephiroth. Sephiroth has forced Dick Butt to give him black materia, although a lot of it is due to Dick Butt's inner doubt, which we don't know yet. Man. And Sid was just like, fuck you, man. Dude, Sid, the most confident character in the game, Yeah. is like. Why didn't I do this? <laughs> Tell me, stab wound. Dick butt, be strong. Okay, and this just gets crazy right here. Pushes her down. Misogyny. And just starts beating the shit out of her. Kate's in his back, though. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, he, he shows up right when he's Clint... just dancing up there and hopping. I like, love him <laughs> so <laughs> much. Things are getting rough. How about you look at the cuddly moogle? Everything is white. That's that's correct. <laughs> Except the black materia. And Barrett. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and now we have another dream from Dick Butt. It's just a dream. This a is beautiful the dream. That we're going to see later. It is the greatest dream he's ever had about a boy. <laughs> Dick Butt, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Um, Stab Wounds talking to Dick Butt through, this, through the dream. Yep. Da da da, tell him not to worry about it. She's Don't worry, you're fine. She's gonna go handle Sephiroth. I got this. She's going to the City of the Ancients through the Sleeping Forest. That's fine. But you Come can't back! Sephiroth shows up, but he's he says we must stop that girl soon. He's using Cloud as a lackey. Look like Dick you Butt. were having a nightmare. And you probably don't know where we are because this is Gungaga. <laughs> 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 I've never been here before. Nope, not once. There's uh there's some stuff we can pick up here, but we probably don't need it. There's the Titan summon. There's a uh... oh the Titan summon's like useless. Yeah, it's an earth based one. We could pick up some items. There's probably some stuff we wanted to buy back when we came here, but we didn't. And I doubt we, we don't need it anymore. Yeah, I doubt we even have the money. That's true. Oh, I don't know. We killed a couple bosses. That's true. They got, they drop a lot of money. Yeah, but we have Trident already. Trident? For Sid. Oh, for Sid, yeah. I forgot. Oh, I forgot he even has that. And we have Cloud Sword might need an update, but we got that weapon for Kate Sid. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to go ahead and go on without it. Yes, we are. Uh, so, welcome to Gengaga. We should have been here earlier. Yep. Um, Place is fucked up. Yeah. This, 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 this whole cloud, or Dick Butt doesn't know himself, has been hinted at a little bit throughout the game. You remember the first time we were at the Mako Reactor, I just... and he has that vision, but... It's all kind of been dropped down at once. I just think it's a boring story telling thing. Yeah. And like, the whole game, like every character in this game 
has a goddamn identity crisis. It is. It's a, that's a very... That's just so much a Final Fantasy thing, though. Like You probably like, want Hard Edge. No, I don't. That's the, weapon. Oh. that's the weapon I stole from the Shinra Tower. Oh, wow. Yeah. Doesn't he buy, sell material? That's what I was looking for. Sorry, nope. that's what I was looking for. I don't care about um, your story, spiky <laughs> hair man. A lot of the Final Fantasy characters, starting with like six, just have inner identity crises. I feel like Terra's was a little more well done. Terra's was it, handled elegantly. Yeah, but it's still there. And uh, we, we actually had this discussion on yeah, Skype we a few did. weeks ago. Squall, about... ha Squall has the same deal. It's Dude, I hate inner Squall. Identity crisis. Zidane's is the worst, hands down. Like, it just, like... I don't know why I have this tail. Yeah, like, he, he doesn't, and he doesn't know who he is, and he finds out he's, like, a fucking alien from another world or something. Well, way to ruin the game oh. for me. I haven't played it yet. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. Oh, this is Zack. I'm sorry. This is what we're learning about. Uh, oh, no, now she's gonna have this dumb moment that we sh... Ah, oh, titties, what happened? Oh, uh, we could've skipped this. We could've. I'm sorry. I was looking for a materia store. She says that it sounds just like dick butt. <laughs> yeah, Zack and dick butt. Yeah, that's that's the problem. That the story, <laughs> the story, the story hasn't really caught up to itself she, yet. She's realizing that dick butt. I just got a white M phone for Kate. She's realizing that dick butt is acting like Zack, but she hasn't told him yet, and it's these, she's starting to realize these things. Yep. And this is the view you're supposed to have when you enter the town. You're supposed to look over there and see that. So, what we're talking about on Skype was yeah. Tara's identity crisis that she's looking for love because she doesn't understand love because mm -hmm. she's an imperial soldier. But she doesn't find typical angsty teenager love. No, she finds love through children that she takes care of. I'm going back in because I just remembered there's a death blow mm -hmm. interior right here when you walk in. Maybe so, um, the next episode we're going to go to the place. The place. The thing the, at the place. The, yeah, and there's going to be some stuff. And there's going to be, like, plot and points. It's going to be hard. And when I say plot points, I mean it's going to be pointy. Right. Going right through someone's oh, plot. Yeah. Hardcore nudity. Next time, let's play Final <laughs> Fantasy, Fantasy VII. VII.